especially in this phase of the pandemic, I'm being asked a lot about resilience and how we can create more resilience in leaders and teams and organizations. It's not surprising. This disruption has gone on for some time and people have been trying to tap into their inner resilience. So I wanna look at what resilience means and what resilience actually gives you energy and what takes energy. And the picture I have in my head is a lot of leaders that I'm working with, they're almost like somebody out in the waves, out in the sea. They're splashing around, they're staying afloat, but the waves are guiding what they're doing. Uh, they're being thrashed about. That is resilience, it's a type of resilience, which is just survival. All the energy I have is keeping my head above water. Then there's a group of what I call the Superman and Superwomen. They're standing in front of the waves, arms crossed and they you know, hit me with this wave. I will take it, I will defend those behind me. I will be the blocker of all the disruption that's in front of us. Now, that is another type of resilience. And for most of my working career, that's been okay because the waves have been like summer waves, little waves hitting you, they don't hurt much, etc. In today's world, a disrupted world, and a more and more disrupted world, those waves are winter waves. They're big and they're heavy and they hurt. Most of the leaders I'm working with with that idea around resilience are thinking about retirement. They're saying, I'll get us through this pandemic and then I'm done. They've used all their reserves of energy being Superman or Superwoman. And going further, they just need a break. The third type, and this is a small subset, maybe 10% of the leaders that we work with, are actually making change and disruption their friend. They're like a surfer on the wave. They're using the change, the force of change, the energy around them to actually propel themselves and the organization up forward. All three are resilience. The one that will give you long-term resilience, the one that will enable you to continue to outperform is catching that wave, making change your ally and using the energy of change rather than fighting it. Now, in order to do that, we need to recognize which one we are. Which, what are our habits? If you're the one thrashing in the waves, if you're, you're the one fighting off the waves, you need to first see that, realize the futility over time and shift. Recognize when you're doing it and shift and actually see the potential in change, see the potential in people and in yourself and capture that energy, bring it into yourself. That is long-term resilience.